Hi, I'm David Masnato. I'm a game designer and organizer for Protospiel Online. Today I'll be covering how to use the TTS Importer tool for Tabletop Playground. This tool is included when you download the Tabletop Playground application and can save you some time and effort bringing your game over to the platform. Let's have a look at how it works. It's important to note that the TTS Importer tool cannot rebuild your Tabletop Simulator mods. This tool is only for recreating the objects from your TTS games in Tabletop Playground. Since Tabletop Playground uses JavaScript instead of Lua for scripting, this also means your Tabletop Simulator scripting will not be carried over. Most object types should work with the TTS Importer tool, but it's not guaranteed that all objects will be copied over. Before we begin, it's important to call out a few key points. In order for the TTS importer to work, you'll need to have the Tabletop Simulator mod you're importing still on your computer. If you no longer have TTS installed on your computer, but you've uploaded your mod to Steam Workshop, you might be able to recover those files by re-downloading Tabletop Simulator and subscribing to your mod. In this video, I'll cover how to use the TTS importer on Windows and Mac OS. The process is very similar across both systems. Let's start with Windows. We'll need to create a game package in Tabletop Playground before we run the importer. To do this, launch Tabletop Playground and open the editor. Click New Package and enter the title of your game. Click OK and then quit the application. The TTS importer is packaged with the application files for Tabletop Playground. If you don't know where they exist on your computer, the easiest way to find the TTS importer is to launch Steam. Next, right-click Tabletop Playground in your library, hover over Manage, and click Browse Local Files. In the window that pops up, open the Tools folder and double-click the TTS importer tool to launch it. Windows users might see a command terminal pop up and pause for a few seconds. This is normal. The TTS importer should look something like this. The first thing you'll notice is the Package Path field. Click Select Folder. Select the new package you've created by clicking it. Next click Select Folder. This should autofill the Package Path field with the correct location. The TTS importer should be able to find the default folder your subscribed tabletop simulator mods are saved in and auto-populate the TTS save location and TTS path fields. At this point, you can choose to copy workshop mods you're subscribed to, saves, or saved objects. In this example, let's copy from a save. Select the mod you'd like to import by clicking it. Next click Import. The tool should begin to run. Once it's completed, you'll see a pop-up letting you know how many objects the tool was able to successfully copy over. The terminal window that launched earlier will show you the objects that couldn't be copied. Let's hop over to Tabletop Playground to see how it worked. When I launch the package in Tabletop Playground, I can see the objects that were carried over. A few of them have placeholder alphanumeric names that can be edited if you'd like. It looks like these card objects and most of the red numbered container objects were carried over correctly. That covers most of the work needed for this mod. You can skip ahead to the end of the macOS section of this video to see how the TTS importer can also carry over tiles and tokens with snap points. Speaking of which, let's have a look now at how this process differs on macOS. First you'll need to create a game package just like you do on Windows. To do this, Launch Tabletop Playground and open the editor. Click New Package and enter the title of your game. For this tutorial, I'll be using my 18 card game Seros. Click OK and then quit the application. Next, we launch the TTS importer just like we do on Windows. Open Steam. Next, right click Tabletop Playground in your library. Hover over Manage and click Browse Local Files. In the window that pops up, open the Tools folder and double-click the TTS Importer tool to launch it. The TTS Importer on Mac OS should look something like this. The first thing you'll notice is the Package Path field. Click Select Folder. Select the new package you created by opening the Packages folder and click the folder for the game you're importing. Next click Choose. 
This should auto fill the package path field with the correct location. The TTS importer should be able to find the default folder your subscribed tabletop simulator mods are saved in and auto populate the TTS save location and TTS path fields. Select the mod you'd like to import by clicking it. Next click import. The tool should begin to run. The pop-up lets you know how many objects the tool was able to successfully copy over. Let's hop over to Tabletop Playground to see how it worked. When I launch the package for Saros in Tabletop Playground, I can see the objects that were carried over. All of them have placeholder alphanumeric names that can be edited if you'd like. When I open this player board object, I can also see that the TTS importer brought in all the snap points with the correct rotation settings. This will save me a lot of time. Let's have a look at the double-sided tokens. Yep, looks good. How about the cards? Also good. So that's it! With a few quick steps, you can save a lot of time bringing your game over to Tabletop Playground. If you have any questions about what you saw here, feel free to leave a message in the comments. Thanks for watching.